Hi, I'm Brian, Service Manager at Whole Latte Love, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the housing of your Rocket Apartmento. Let's get into it. Let's do it. All right, first thing we're going to want to do is make sure our accessories are removed. Okay. Drip tray, and grid, reservoir cover, reservoir, and your cup rail. Slides forward. And this one is this one's metal. Some this of them one's have, metal. Some of them are plastic. Uh, be gentle plastic with the plastic. Yeah, <laughs> plastic ones are easier to break, so be careful. But they also remove a lot easier. These metal ones, sometimes tight. you got a little fidget with, especially the powder coated black ones. They look okay. really nice, but yeah. adds that little extra layer there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is remove the top plate. Mm -hmm. uh, what we're going to need for this is a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench. Mm -hmm. and a Phillips head screwdriver. Go here first with the two and a half. These do come in at a slight angle, so you will see that it kind of touches the top of the cup tray here, mm -hmm. uh, but it's okay, it's not doing anything bad. Get the one out. Get the two out. So, got almost there. Swear, he's gonna fast forward <laughs> through this, right? Yeah. Sweet. All right, so we got two Phillips head screws right down in there. Those are really deep down in there, huh? Yep. Um, if you got bigger hands, you might want to get a longer screwdriver. I mm -hmm. got very small bony hands. Always oh, says perfect for working inside these machines. Are you so, saying you have small bony hands? I, I mean, look at these <laughs> things. I'm a realist. I, I know. Okay. I know what's going on here. There's a reason I'm not in the NFL, <laughs> and it's only the hands. Only the hands. Only the hands. If they were just a little bit bigger. I'd be making billions of dollars in the NFL. Okay. All right. Now we got those out. So that's just four screws. That's it. And we just pull straight up brings the entire reservoir holder with it. You need to set that to the side. Enough. Okay, next we've got this plate right here. Uh, when it comes to the bolts that are holding on this and the rest of the housing, it is a seven millimeter. Mm -hmm. uh, I suggest using either this, this style or this style. You can use this, but I'll show you why that's less friendly in just a moment. Oh yeah, there's some tight spaces in there, right? Yeah, a little okay. bit, a little bit. These, these two, you just gotta loosen, and then that just place. slides right off. Okay. Um, in case I forgot to mention it, because I think I did, make sure that you have your machine off, unplugged, cooled down, all that fun stuff. Of course. Um, so next you'll see these bolts right down here. You can see that all right down there? Yep. Okay. Uh, that's the one that's gonna be a little bit trickier if you have a giant wrench like that trying to get in there. It, you can do it, it's just fumble worthy. Sounds like no fun though. <laughs> but a nice medium sized socket wrench like this is perfect because you just angle it right in like that. Just line it up and then give it a few twists. Um, you're just looking to get it loose enough that the housing moves around a little bit like that. Okay, well, same thing on the other side. Same there. thing on the other side there. Easier to do on the other side. All right. All right. Looks enough. Okay. Then just got a few on the bottom here. Um, and you can do this one of two ways. You can hang it over the edge like this. Mm -hmm. You've got access to the two here. Then there's two on the back, two on the side. Okay. Uh, that's kind of the safe way to go. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone knows me, I don't do things safe, so I'm gonna go like this just so you can see what I'm doing, see where all these actually are. You're just kind of balancing the machine up on the group head there, huh? Yep. Always with a towel though. Always with a towel. Yeah, I'm not completely heartless. No scratches. No scratches. That makes me sad. And again, it looks like you're not taking these all the way out either. I'm just getting them started. Okay. 
Okay. It does make it a little bit easier to take them all the way out mm -hmm. just because you can get hung up on them when you're trying to slide everything off. So okay. this housing is the one that's a little bit trickier just because of the way that the uh, brackets that hold on the in inner panel there mm -hmm. are on there. Uh, so I try to make this as seamless of a fight as I can. Um, the other thing that you're going to want to do, it'll help a little bit when you're going to put everything back together, is these back feet here. And if you look, the housing actually goes underneath where the foot is. Okay. So if you, you know, go all the way tight, but then just give it like two full rotations. Just some room to have some clearance. Yep. Yeah. That way you're not gouging up the bottom of your okay. housing when you're trying to take it on and off. Good so, tip. Yeah. <laughs> you might figure you got all those screws out and they're like, oh my gosh. It's yeah. Why is this still fighting <laughs> yeah. me? It's because of those feet. So just give them, a, like I said, two, two little turns and that should be more than enough to prevent that from happening. Last screw here. Okay. Just put it right back down on this back side here. And then it's nice to be able to look in here. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is push down and line up. You'll be able to see it a lot better once I get this actually off, yeah. but there's these little, little slots here that these go into. That's yeah. why we're not taking these all the way out. We just need to loosen them because it just slides right out. Okay. All right. And then, so you can see these brackets that help hold the panels in. So what mm -hmm. I did is I just kind of came out and just pulled out a little bit. Don't go super crazy on it, okay. but you will need to pull out a little bit. Uh, these are the brackets that help hold this panel in place. And okay. how these go in is they come in and slide right against here. So okay. that's just can get hung up on here. It can get hung up on the board or the two mo most common places. It'll get a little bit hung up. Okay. But Oh, well, yes, it's fairly simple, fairly easy. Like I said, the biggest thing is just fighting against these brackets here and making sure that you position those feet right. And there you go. Great, great access to the inside. Okay, now time to put the housing back on our Rocket Apartmento. Uh, trickiest part is going to be making sure that the tabs here that hold your panels in place line up properly. You want these to be on the outside of the frame. So just keep attention to where those are as you're sliding it on. What I like to do is start off with, if you can see this, if you come in from down here, the tabs for underneath the frame there, keep that on top of the foot at first. Just makes it a little bit easier. And you can start sliding it back. Oops. So you can just get in there. A little working around just yep. to get things in place. Yep, just until you got it all started. Once you got it there, you're just gonna wanna try and get the tabs in the front for those bolts to line up. You get that in there. This one was friendly and just popped right in for me. Okay. So then you're just gonna lift up from the bottom corner a little bit. Make sure that the top right here where that uh, swoops down there, mm -hmm. that there's got to be level or flush. And then take your seven millimeter wrench. And this is kind of that tight spot, right? Yep, yeah, that's the tight elbows. spot. That's okay. But the key is to keep that lifted up and exactly. Yep. Keep it keep it up as high as you can. I've I've been holding on to it from the bottom over on this side that you can't really see. Mm -hmm. Unless you got X-ray vision. <laughs> That would come in very handy. So to keep it friendly for yourself, I uh, try to keep these bolts A on the housing, obviously, because uh, otherwise you're going to be fighting with it to try and reach in there and get it started, get it yeah. started and all that. And I also just try to keep it as close to shut as possible, screwed in, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. That way you're not messing around with it for too long. But you don't want to get it too tight, otherwise you're going to be 
fighting with it just to get it into these slots. So it's kind of finding that perfect spot where it'll still go in, but you don't have to screw it for all day to get mm -hmm. it seat in right. Then I got that side in and work on this one. And of course with my band-aid on, I got no grip. <laughs> Well, this no, you is much, down, much you easier had, if you have a socket. Yeah, watch. I was going to say, if you had a socket and an extension with one of those little U-joints in it. That, that would be could, the easy way to do it. Of course, I didn't bring you small like the enough challenge. socket. I love the challenge. Who wants it to be easy? Give myself a hard time as often <laughs> as possible. But, yeah, brought my sockets, just did not bring a small enough socket. So, give me some bigger projects next time. Oh, okay. All right. That's tight enough right there. Okay, now all we have to do is go around from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Again, always be careful when bringing it out. Don't drop it on yourself. Yep, looks like I got the bottom has to come in a little bit. And you're just trying to find them and line them up here. There we go. Once you get the first couple in, I like to start with these front two. It's generally, once you have those in and snug down, everything else is going to be lined much up. more lined up. So, in in there. Alrighty. I'll do this the cheap way. There we go. Act like I have a socket wrench, right? <laughs> There we go. There's one. And then I'll just turn it around and do the other side's front one there. If I don't lose them all. There we go. Okay, so the same thing over here. Pushing in from the back there just to get it to line up right. Free up a hand there. There you go. Smarter, not harder. I think. Here we go. I'm also fighting against the cord that's right behind there, so. Again, with making my own life difficult. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And finger and how tights. Many, how many total screws on the bottom here? Uh, there are six screws six. on the bottom. There's two on either side here, and then two in the two back. back. Okay. So, got that snug down. And like I said, once you go from there now, we don't have to keep flip-flopping back and forth. Mm -hmm. So, and I think I need to adjust that one just a little bit. Because that back one doesn't seem to be quite lined up. So, you will have to do this once or twice, just making sure that you got everything lined up. There we go, now it's lined up. You'll be able to see, I don't know if you can see that well from the camera, but I can see just by peeking down uh, the rivet that this is screwing into is silver, so. Okay. When you're actually in front of the machine, it'll be much easier to see what the actual, what's actually lining up. You're making sure that the rivet is centered in between the little black tab there. Okay. Or silver if you have a stainless steel housing. All right, I'll move on to the back two. And I'm just gonna pull her out a little bit further. And you gotta be careful when you're hanging over the edge there. Like exactly, yeah. Uh, you don't, don't wanna drop it on yourself. All right. And in there. So this is much, much easier if you use a socket. Eh, eh, going at an angle. Eh. Let's start over here. I think that one's a little bit more lined up. 
I think may need to loosen the sides and adjust the back a little bit more because it's just not wanting to slide over. And one of the things is, is if you have these feet, and I believe I discussed this when we were taking it apart, is having these feet loosened a little bit. A little more. Because you get a little bit more wiggle room in there from oh, the housing. Right. So I may not actually need to loosen anything. No, I will, but all right. We're gonna do some movie magic. I'm just gonna loosen this up a little bit and then I'll okay. finish showing you. Okay. With that back one loosened up, you can see it's a little bit more freedom now. So we'll get the back two here on, and then we'll put the second to back ones there on. Just to make sure we don't trap ourselves again. I'm just peeking at the back here to make sure that both of them are lined up. That one's still in there, just loose. Mm -hmm. So and now tighten these ones down. Tighten that one down the rest of the way. And our last one, back corner here. Okay, and snug it up, and then just don't forget to tighten Let's your feet your back feet down. Back. Unless you want it to look like a drag Kinda car little. or something. <laughs> All right, so now what we got is this top panel. Mm -hmm. When putting this back on, you'll probably see already that there's little etch marks from when we removed them, but if you don't yeah. see those on there, lip part is facing down into the machine. Okay. So you want this little oval opening is gonna be more on the left hand side. So you just pop it in and tighten those up. Loosen them up a little bit so we can slide it back in. Okay. And tight. Again with another seven millimeter. Tighten it down. There we go. Not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. And get our top back on. Just watch out for the bracket right there. You may have to come in from an angle and just let her slide down in. And you've got slots down there that we got to get our slotted screws, or sorry, the Phillips head screws back into. One there, and what I like to do to kind of help find its home is get my one hand in here and just kind of push in on the reservoir or push that way, whichever way. It doesn't always line up exactly right away. Um, so you get the one in there, don't go all the way tight. That way you have the wiggle room to get the other one in there. And reach in with the driver, get it straight, and then make sure you're going in nice and easy. If it's fighting, stop. You may be cross-threading it. Mm -hmm. uh, if you start turning opposite way until you feel like a little click and drop, mm -hmm. that's how you'll know you're going in straight. So I always like to do that if I'm screwing something in blind like this. 
go backwards first till you feel that yep. drop in the Yeah, place. you'll feel the thread uh, kind of seating in, and then yeah. you can turn around and go the correct way. Okay. Nose down. And then, last but not least, got one there and one there with 2.5 millimeter Allen. And we'll always tend to kind of touch just the edge of the top here. Mm -hmm. So if you notice it when you're going in, uh, don't be worried, you're not doing it wrong. It's just kind of the way that they like to go in there. It will touch it for a moment and then kind of pop over it. And if you're uh, having an alignment issue with the rivet, uh, the rivet's on the housing part, so sometimes you'll need to push, push. in on it just a little bit. We'll see. See how it kind of touches it first, mm -hmm. right on this edge here, but then a couple tw turns later and it's past it and you're good. Just make sure you get that all the way down in there. And all you got left to do is slide your cup rail back on, put your reservoir back in, and rock and roll. All right, Brian, thanks for taking us through that. Yeah, not a problem.